Hey guys, Jeremy here. Today I want to be showing you how to create guides in Illustrator CC. Guides are a great tool to make your compositions more balanced. It allows you to align objects and paths, and it also allows you to keep your layouts more neat and tidy. I use it when I'm working with typography and shapes, or even in illustrations sometimes, um, to make sure everything is you know, neat and centered when I need it to be. So it's really awesome. I use it for everything. Um, you can also create grids as well, which is really handy. So in order to get our guides up, we have to press Control R or Command R which will bring up our rulers. So as you can see, um, these two little bars popped up on the left and the top, and pretty much this is like, acts like a ruler. And to create the guide, we can pretty much double click on any part of the bar, and that'll create a ruler, or you can click and drag, as you can see. And I can drag from the top as well, and it's gonna just create guides. Drag that across, vertically and horizontal, which is really handy, just like that. So what we can do now with these guides, we can actually, align it to the artboard. Um, so I'm going to select the ones that I need and I'm just going to go to this little selection box at the top and we're going to change it to align to artboard. So click that and what I'm going to do now is just horizontally and vertically align it to the artboard that I need to. So I'm going to press vertical align top, line to bottom, um, center this one and I'll center these vertical ones as well to the left and the right which is really handy and I'll center this one. There you go. So pretty much these guides are now centered to my artboard, which is pretty handy. Um, I can also align the selection or the guides to together. So I can select all these ones and go back to the selection up the top and instead of artboard, change it to the key selection. And I'm just gonna change this to horizontal distribution. So now all these lines are directly centered um, in the middle of the artboard and 25% and 75% of the artboard. So you can see we've got this like four by four grid, which is really handy. So in order to create different colors for the guides, um, as you can see, when I select the guides, it's coming up as red. That's due to the my layer on the right here. It's the color is red. If I double click and change my layer color to say just a green, every time I select these, they'll be green now, which is really handy to note. You can also change the color by going to command K or control K to open up preferences. And we're gonna to go to guides and grid now. And to do this, we're gonna focus on this top box here. It's currently on cyan. So in, we just can change this, change it to whatever you like. I'm gonna select magenta. You can also change the style of the line by going to dots and pressing OK here. And what you can see now is the grid is actually dots and it's magenta as you can see, which is pretty cool. Um, and as you can see, if I select it, they go green because of the layer that we did just before. I'm just gonna quickly change it back now. Just gonna go to preferences, go to guides, and because I like working with lines and just the normal. So yeah, um, in order to show or hide the guides, you can press control or command semicolon. So that hides the guides. You can also lock them by pressing control alt semicolon. So now I can't select them. Oh wait, yeah, and now you can't select them, see? Because I locked them. You can also clear the guides as well by going to view on the top left hand corner, go to guides and go to clear guides. So now they got rid of all my guides, they're all deleted. So sometimes it gets messy, so you gotta just you know, clear it out and just redo them. But it's also good to know as well um, what layer you're on because whatever layer you're on, that's the, where the guides will be. Um, they're not like a global guide. You might be able to change it, but I'm not too sure. So if I just make a few guides and then I can lock this layer, I can also hide the layer as well and that will hide my guides as well as you can see. So it's pretty handy. That's what I do. I create a guide layer and leave it on there to make my process more efficient. So what I'm going to show you now is you can actually create guides from objects and paths. So I'm just going to create a circle here. I'm going to change the color. We'll go yellow. And in order to create a guide, we're just going to select it and press Command or Control 5. So right now you can see it's actually changing into a guide, which is pretty cool. I can change it back to a shape if I want, just by pressing Control, Command, Alt, and 5. And so that now it's back to a shape. It's like a normal shape, uh, which is really handy. So I'm just going to change it back to a guide. And what I'm going to show you now is Smart Guides. So pretty much what Smart Guides are is a tool that allows, it's an algorithm in the program that allows you to align things directly with one shape or a path. Um, and it's like mathematically correct. It's also it's also really handy when you want to center things or align things to each other. Um, and it's the best way. So what I'm gonna do now, I'll press L for circle, 
And as you can see, as I select the center here, there's a little purple it says center or or and a line. It says center. So that means it's recognizing my mouse point on that center. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click and drag a circle, holding shift and alt. And you can see a purple line at the bottom. That means it's perfectly aligned to that guide that we originally created. So if I let go, now that circle is aligned perfectly, which is really handy. Um, and I can also click and drag by holding shift. I'm gonna create this, duplicate the circle. And as I'm dragging, you can see the purple line. That means it's directly centered with that circle. So it's pretty handy. Um, you can change the color of that as well by going to preferences again. By this time, we're gonna go to smart guides and you can change it here to it's on magenta. I change it to, you know, I'll change it to a red. Um, it's also good to note that you can select different options here. Um, if you don't want the alignment guides to pop up or if you don't want it to highlight the object, you can turn that off. I just leave these settings like this, it works for me. You can also create different construction guides. I use custom angles sometimes when I'm doing isometric, as you can see 90 and 30 and 150. You can also do select this box and do 90 and 45 degree angles, which is, you know, the, the standard. But um, I'm just gonna leave it like that. And snapping tolerance just is pretty much like how close you get before the mouse recognizes where the align point is. Um, but you can just ignore that, it's not really important. Um, it's also good to know that you can turn off the smart guides if you want uh, by pressing control U. And as you can see, if I'm just dragging this circle, it's not, the perp the lines aren't popping up anymore, um, but you can turn it back on, control U. And as you can see, the lines are back there now. So it will tell me that it's centered. I can make this small line and create a circle and it's centered as you can see. And if I directly put it on that line, as you can see there, it's intersecting with the shape. It tells you if it intersects, which is pretty awesome. I'll show you close up. So I'm gonna do this, drag, and there it's intersecting with that shape. So it's directly on that line if I zoom in. So it's directly on that line, which is awesome. So yeah, pretty much that's how you create guides, guys. Um, I hope you guys enjoy the video and subscribe for more content every week. And I hope you guys enjoy your day. I'll see you in the next episode.